Okay, we're back here on the site of Project 41, and uh, <clears throat> as you can see, there's been no progress since my last video. Uh, there have been a couple of reasons for that. I've been busy gathering parts for the old girl. Went to the swap meet up in Rhinebeck, did a little mail ordering. I've got quite a collection. Um, you can't really tell from this particular piece of property, but um, there's been a change of plans due to Mother Nature. We've had uh, five tornadoes touch down in a single day in this part of the state. And uh, I no longer want to work under a tent around a bunch of trees. So I'm here today to cut some trees down for my buddy and to get the rear end bolted in place in this thing because uh, she's coming home post haste. I've made arrangements and I will be working on her inside an actual garage where she and I will be dry and safe. Alright, so here's the plan. We're, we're done cutting trees and now Lenny and I, as you can see, are getting ready to take the car off the trailer here for two reasons. It'll be easier to go ahead and get the rear end bolted in even if we have to jack it up here on the uneven ground and two we gotta get tires on this trailer and a plate so it can be used well <laughs> for one thing to, to, to pull this this bad mamma jamma back to the house Okay, boys and girls, you are looking at what you think you are looking at. We had a little bit of a glitch. As you can see, the uh, yard rat is kind of stuck in the mud, and we're having no luck. So, here goes nothing. Now, bear in mind, I have used the SI to pull a four-door 52 Plymouth Cranbrook out of the sugar sand down in the Ocala Forest in Florida, so I think she can handle pulling the 41 off a trailer. Uh, we gotta go to plan B boys and girls. Something isn't right. She's hanging for some reason. We have to determine why and another way to get this off because uh, <laughs> for once I found a challenge that DSI can't handle. <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay, so this project is actually coming together just in true shade tree mechanic form. Uh, apparently we had a locked up brake caliper. Yes, remember she does have four wheel disc brakes already. So at this point, at this point we're going to go ahead and hook her back up to the Honda and see about inching her off the rest of the way in place so we can take her from there. Okay, I think we're done dealing with the gremlins. Everything's been unstuck. Everything has been re-engineered. The subframe was catching on the trailer coming down, so now we've got boards under the front wheels. And uh, she seems like she's freed up. And will she make it? Or won't she? That is the $65 pyramid question. Stay tuned, kitties. Success! All hail the conquering heroes. All hail the conquering heroes. All hail Honda power. So each of all would be proud. All right, all right. The next phase of the project can be considered essentially complete. Oh, hello neighbor. <laughs> all right. Lenny is locking up the gate. It's, uh, it's raining, so at this point we're calling it a day, but we are not defeated. The uh, tree that was endangering the whole uh, shebang is cut up into burnable logs and is piled up neatly. And uh, the hot rod is off the trailer so that we can both lock its rear end in place and change all the tires on the car trailer and get the bitch registered so that way 
I can bring my tow vehicle in here and not have to rent a blessed thing from U-Haul. So, time to bring Lenny home, time to put tools away, and then at some point I'll edit this and get it uploaded to YouTube. Like anyone's watching but a handful of my friends, but still, it's fun to document projects like this, I gotta admit. Um, someday I'm gonna look back on this and I'll be glad I did it this way. So, stay tuned. <laughs>